How's it going, everybody? Drake S here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. So, yes, as you can see, we're going to be starting a new park today, the My Old Park. It was kind of like a test park to check out a lot of the new rides and whatnot, but I really didn't lay it out as a real theme park. And that's what I want to do today. I want to take my time to actually build a park. We're not going to get it all done in this episode, but my main focus is I actually want to build a volcano somewhere in the middle here. Don't know if that's going to be totally possible to make a totally realistic volcano, but I'm going to go into it and just hope for the best. On top of that, I want this park to be much more refined. I'm going to take a lot more time on my rides and uh, actually detail them. Before, I was just trying to showcase as many rides as possible because everyone was curious about what was in this game. Now, I think you guys get a good idea on what the game's about, so we're actually going to take the time to actually build a decent park now. So, let's get right into it and actually start building this volcano. Now, I want it to be the prime focus of this park, so when you're walking in, that's the first thing you see. So, we're going to do it somewhere right in the middle here, and we're just going to start raising the earth. Now, this is going to be a pretty big volcano because I do want to build a roller coaster around it as well. Uh, let's actually slow down this intensity because it's making it a little too quick, and I want to take the time to actually make this look like an actual mountain. Now, with volcanoes, usually they're not so much tall, but more wide, so I'm going to try and showcase that here. Obviously, we're going to have to refine this quite a bit. Uh, as this is going to be the focus of my park, I want it to look right. Also, I do want to paint it, but I don't really know what I can really paint it. That's very volcano-like, or at least more so than actual grass. Uh, I'm just curious to see the other styles here. We also got this one. That's looking pretty good as well, but I do like this jagged rock style a little more. Okay, there we go. That's looking kind of good. Obviously, I don't want it too big because, honestly, the parks are not very big in this, so it's not going to be like an accurate a volcano size. This is obviously a fake amusement park volcano, but I do want it to look like one, you know, kind of that triangular, very thick shape, and I think this is looking pretty good for what I'm giving in, given in terms of tools. Uh, there's not much I can do. I'm chiseling it down right now, and it's kind of looking a little better, looking, looking a little bit more natural, not so uh, bubbly, if you will. And, yeah, I'm really liking the look of this right now. Now, obviously, we need to paint it once again, so we're going to do that. Let's actually just start that. Oh, yeah, that just that just looks awesome. Unfortunately, I wish there was, like, some sort of lava texture, but I'm sure they're going to add textures later on. Basically, right now, we're going to have to have a dead volcano. And right to the top. Now, obviously, the ground around it, too, should be a little black, so we're going to spread this out a little bit. Uh, just to make it look realistic, because obviously the lava flows at more than just the actual mountain. Now, you can actually see the texture repeating itself with this, so I don't really like that. I think I'm going to actually change, yeah, to this. This looks a lot better, at least down on the ground. And let's slowly fade this rock into the grass so it doesn't look like such an eyesore. That's looking pretty good, just like that. Uh, now, obviously... A volcano needs a hole at the top, so we need to do that now. This is the part I'm excited about. I don't, I don't know why. I, I just like making holes. Okay, let's drop the size down to... Eh, I don't know how... I mean, generally the holes are pretty big, so I think I'm going to do it a little bit bigger than 5 meters. Let's do it 10 meters. Actually, 11 meters across. That should be good. And I want to do it straight down. So we're just going to go and... There we go. It's going down. At least I hope it is. Oh, no, actually. No, it is going down. It should be. Okay, let's up this intensity because it's not going down quick enough. There we go. That's what I wanted down into the actual thing. Now, that's looking like a volcano. Once again, let's paint this a little bit. Uh, some grass was formed because of that, and I don't want any at the top here, at least. And let's put some VFX in here. We're just going to place some random explosions at the bottom here. That way it freaks out people. I don't know if I'm going to build, like, a platform up here that people can walk around. Hell, maybe I'll build a coaster that goes all the way down it. Oh, yeah, that's looking good. There's also, I believe there's a flamethrower. Yes, we're going to put these right at the top here. Oh, yes, this is going to look great. Obviously, it's not lava, but it's the second best thing. It's fire. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, there's a flamethrower burst as well. I probably should have used some of these as flamethrower bursts. So, you know what? We're going to delete a few of these and then start using burst as well. That way, it doesn't look all the same, which is uh, something that doesn't happen very often in the natural world. And we're just going to put a hell of a lot of smoke VFX around this as well, because usually volcanoes like the smoke when they are actually erupting. So, a uh, close-up doesn't look too great, but obviously far away, it looks a hell of a lot better. That would just intrigue me. So overall, I'm happy with that. That is all I'm going to do in terms of terraforming for today. Let's actually start building the park now. 
Okay, so I actually don't mind the starting entrance that they made for us. We can maybe put uh, some bathrooms here or something. Generally, there should be bathrooms right at the start of a park, because most people gotta pee by the time they get to a park. So let's actually look at the buildings and see what we can do here. Okay, so we got a few bathrooms to choose from. I honestly, there's not too much in terms of selection. We got the sandstone, which I don't really like unless I'm doing a theme. Stucco as well, uh, unless it's an Egypt theme. Doesn't really make sense. So we're just gonna do a generic white planet coaster bathroom for right now. I'm gonna put this right by the road here. That should be good. I have no idea what this thing does. It's kind of confusing, to be honest. I think that should be good, yeah. Now, if only I could actually change the color of the tile here. That's gonna bother me. You also can't change the tile out here. I wanted it all black, but I guess I'm not going to get what I hoped for. Okay, so I want to keep with the theme of the actual outside because I cannot change this, unfortunately. So I think I'm just going to do mostly blue and white for this park, or at least uh, the unthemed part of the park. So obviously I want some rides to be themed. I want a pirate ride again and things like that where they'll be themed. But for the most part, we're actually just going to stick with blue and white. Okay, I think I'm pretty content with my bathroom now. I've been building it for actually a couple in-game days, just kind of browsing the actual decorations and whatnot to find things that kind of look sleek and simplistic. And I'm pretty happy with the end product. Now, I didn't know you can actually duplicate buildings, so I can put this building wherever I want in the park now as a generic just washroom, which is really good. So I'm happy with that. Let's move on and start building some shrubbery here or something. Okay, I like this introductory archway. Uh, this roller coaster track looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna use this. I would. I wish it was blue. I don't think you can actually change the color, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, so we're just gonna have this as red. I'm also going to put the actual foundations into the ground. That way, it's not so much of an eyesore. And let's rotate this like so. Now I want to make sure this is aligned right, so let's take the time to actually do that. That's looking good. I'm going to put that there, and I'm also going to expand this road because I don't know why, but this game, the pre-made roads are always the smallest ones. It's very annoying. So let's delete this, and actually we may as well just go all the way back to the starting here and just go to width, and we'll do... How's 8 meters look? That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, that, that's going to be our main walkway into the park, so that's pretty important. And next on the list is getting some sort of sign for this actual archway here. I do like the Planet Coaster generic signs. That's pretty cool. A uh, smaller one as well. That might be convenient. Also, the arch sign. Actually, that would look really good at the top. If only it was a little bigger. Okay, I think my best bet, unfortunately, is a rather small sign. I mean, realistically, it's quite big, though. It's, a, it's 8 meters across, so let's, let's be fair here. This is a pretty damn big sign, so I just want to kind of hide it inside the actual archway and this is a very bad angle to be doing this how's that looking oh yeah that's actually really good i like that okay it's still a work in progress but i'm pretty happy with this starting right now now the only unfortunate part is a lot of the lights in this game don't really give off that much light so as you can see i needed to put quite a few down just to light up my pathway and you can see out here they do the same thing with the smaller lights i mean they're just freaking everywhere so that's kind of an annoyance, but you do need light in your park, unfortunately. So hopefully I can figure out some way to hide these. I'll probably put trees in between, or at least shrubs. That way it's not so much of an eyesore. Uh, but yeah, we'll get working onto that later on. I do want to build my first ride, and obviously it's going to revolve around this big-ass beast here. Uh, I think I'm going to do some sort of roller coaster. Okay, I'm going to build my coaster somewhere over here. Now, I do want to actually split off this path into two different directions. I don't know an easy way to do that to make it look good as well. So I'm trying to figure out, you see, if I do that and it automatically snaps, it just looks like an eyesore. It doesn't look natural. So I want to maybe, maybe I should just actually start building a path over here and then drive it over and hopefully, oh God, see it's still, I don't know why, but it wants to put it perfectly sideways on the main path. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here to make it look a little bit more, uh, I guess you would say, refined. I'm actually going to build a fountain in the middle and then wrap the road around it if I can. Now, unfortunately, there's only pirate-themed fountains for right now, but I do plan on doing a lot of pirate-themed rides because of how much pirate stuff there is in this game. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the water is automated, so maybe I can go into VFX here and see if there's any water. Uh, water jet, water jet large, so if we do that right in the middle, oh yeah, that should look fine if we drop it into it, actually. Uh, if it will let me do that. Oh, why will you not let me snap downwards? Thank you, there we go. And then I can actually hide it inside of this thing and make it look like an actual fountain. Something like that, there we go. Okay, now that we got that going, let's drop the width of this road down to something like five meters and see if I can somehow wrap it around this 
and make it look realistic as well. Uh, I'm going to drop the length down to one meter. That way we can do some more fine tuning here. There we go. Something like this should look... Oh, yeah, this is actually working well. Oh, my God. Sorry, I honestly half doubted myself for a second there. Oh, unfortunately, the only bad part is like, look at that. Why does it do that? Oh my god, I wonder if I can uh, somehow expand this final one. So if I go maybe change the width of this to something like 7 meters, is that going to look slightly better? Uh, yeah, it actually does. It doesn't look a, like a perfect circle, but you know what? I think that's good enough for me. I'm not going to be too choosy right now. Okay, now that I have kind of this meeting middle point, I should be able to just build as many roads as I want off of this path, and it look, should look totally fine. So I'm going to build just over here, and we're going to put a roller coaster right by this volcano. Okay, so this is the fun part. We have a lot of new roller coasters to check out. Uh, I don't really care which one I do. Oh, uh, is that a freaking... Oh, it is! That's an indie racing car <laughs> roller coaster. Uh, we also got Enigma. That's a new one. A lot of these are new ones, to be fair. This sounds like a pretty cool one. This one's called Cloud Runner. It positions riders on either side of the track with nothing above or below them, giving them an unparalleled sense of freedom. I think there's a Superman coaster uh, similar to this one, so I think we're going to do that for right now. Okay, and we'll do something like that. Oh, yes. Okay, so it's not exactly as I expected, but that looks pretty damn cool regardless. Now, one thing I'm worried about is this is a really wide coaster, and I'm thinking I want to go through the actual volcano. I don't know if it's going to fit, so I think, I think I'm going to do a smaller coaster just in case. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to do the Sprint 500 here. I mean, look at that. That looks so fun. It's not very volcano-like, but I don't care. We're, we're going to try this one out. Okay, so to get this started, I think we're going to do Hydraulic Launch at the front. I don't know if these things are working yet. I have no idea, but I do want to curve it sideways because I want to get it out of the way of the front immediately because I do want to build a pathway over there. So we're going to build it quite far sideways. It's nice that these Hydraulic Launches actually work while you're bending them. I didn't think that was going to be the case. Uh, something like that should be good. And I honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing here. Something that has to do with this volcano, though. Okay, let's test out what we got going on so far. So this is all hydraulic launch. I basically want this coaster to be one speedy-ass design. Is it stalled? Oh, okay, so they are working. Thank God. So that's going to go up the hill really quickly and then drop down. That's working perfectly, just as planned. Okay, so I changed the track color as well. Red and black kind of matching a volcano, so I like the look of that. Uh, let's edit the track again and start building more of this. Okay, I built a huge bank here. I'm liking the look of that. We're going to snap that back. Let's even that out. And I think I'm going to, if I, you know what, let's test this out before I do anything. I want to see if I get enough speed. But I think I'm going to do an actual loop after this as well. Okay, so here we go. I'm loving these hydraulics. That makes it so much quicker. And we should, I think we should be totally fine for speed. We're actually not going as fast as I expected, though. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think you can do loops with this coaster. If I go all the way up on an incline, and let's bank it a bit. Obviously, you do want to do that with a roller coaster. And we're also going to rotate it, because we want it to start going a little bit to the left from our perspective. But it just keeps going upwards. No matter how much I press this button, it's still going to go upwards. It's not actually going to loop back in on itself. This one just rotates it sideways, and this one obviously just rotates the track. So I don't think... I can actually build a loop, and if you go to loops, uh, the the, uh, the automated ones, there's actually nothing for this roller coaster in anything. So, uh, I think this coaster right now is pretty much bare bones, so we're just going to have to deal with that. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's a lot of people out there that don't like loopy roller coasters, so we're just going to have a speedy roller coaster right now with a lot of banks and whatnot. Uh, speaking of banks, let's start doing that right now. We're going to go this way, and I think I'm going to head over to the volcano and figure out what I want to do there. Okay, we're coming up onto the actual mountain here. Now, I do want to straighten this out, make sure it's perfectly straight before we get into you, there. You can see we're going really fast still. Actually, just to be safe, let's add some more uh, hydraulic launch tracks. These are things that are just great. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to add a few of these. And then I think what I'm going to do is actually go back to ordinary standard tracks, and you can actually auto-tunnel. Thank you, by the way, guys, for letting me know that. I'm going to tunnel underneath this thing. Oh, this is really hard to see, but this is going to be so cool. I'm so excited for this. Now, the hard part's going to be finding the middle. I do want to kind of spew out the middle, similar to something like actual volcanic ash. Uh, you can kind of see it here, which is convenient. So maybe, just maybe, if I aim this up right, we can probably get it into the middle. Oh, my God. 
Okay, we're getting close to the volcano. If I do this, am I going to see it? There it is. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Oh my god, this terraforming brings so much to this game. Now the big question is, am I going fast enough to get all the way up there? Oh yeah, totally fine. So we can actually just kind of spew this out. And oh, that is going to be fucking awesome. And now that we're outside, I actually don't want to go too high because I think I'm going to loop it around this actual volcano as well. So let's drop it down like I'm doing right now and actually start curving it. Oh man, that's so great. I, did, I was actually worried I wasn't getting enough speed because we haven't really had much speeds till this drop. But I did add a hydraulic track here and a hydraulic track here and that seems to be just enough. Okay, but what I want to do now is get as close to this mountain as possible. I want these guys to be thinking they're going to hit the damn mountain. I don't know why my camera keeps resetting. Uh, something like this is going to be awesome looking in first person. Oh man, I wish I wish this had VR already. Okay, there we go. We actually did do a full wrap around this thing. Sorry, my camera angle has been just bugging with me. It's not as even as I was hoping for. It's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride, but uh, with this kind of volcano going all over the place, I mean, it's not as perfect as it seems. It was very difficult to get the track uh, to be nice and smooth. But I think this is good enough for right now. I'm really <laughs> excited to try this thing out because it looks so damn fun. Okay, unfortunately the ending is never perfectly straight, but I didn't want to bank this any more than it actually is. It was just a really tight squeeze, so let's put this here, and then I'm assuming two friction brakes should be more than enough, and then hopefully, uh, is there no auto-connect? Please tell me there's an auto-connect. Okay, there we go. We can auto-connect it just like that. That actually might be too many friction brakes. I don't actually know how it works, so we're going to find out. We're going to wait for the test coaster to come and see how it is. Okay, here it comes. You're actually getting a lot of speed even at the ending here, as you can see, and a perfect stop to the ending. Can't get much better than that. I know at least the full thing works. Okay, and I added a quick ticket booth as well as a queue line. Now, I think my biggest mistake with my old park was that I did huge queue lines that were basically pointless because they were never filled up. So I did a much smaller queue line this time. Hopefully it's not too small, but a lot of people wait up here as well, so I think it should be okay. I also opened my park. You can see people are starting to come in now to try out this thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to ride it and see how it is. Now, I will say this is just the bare bones of this roller coaster. This is definitely not done yet, but uh, this episode is getting pretty long, so I do want to end it pretty soon, and I'm sure you guys want to ride this to experience it, so we're going to do that now. Uh, but next episode, I'm going to detail the track a little bit more, add some more stuff going on, and I also want to build a building here. So yeah, that's kind of on the to-do list. Okay, good morning, everybody. The sun's coming up. I think this is a good time to ride this. I just want to show that people get off the ride, and they actually turn <laughs> and go back on the ride. Anyways, it's time to actually ride this thing, so let's get on, uh, do a different camera angle here. I don't know what, I don't know which kind of camera angle you guys like. This one, I mean, this is kind of cool because you get to see what, how the people are experiencing, but let's do a first person. Uh, is there a different view here? There's actually a bunch of different views you can choose from now, which is pretty cool. Oh, this is a cool view. Alright, I'm gonna do this one for right now, just because it kind of gives you a sense of the speed of this thing, and fuck is it ever fast. Okay, finishing up that bank, and I don't think this roller coaster is that long either. There we go, through the actual volcano <laughs> and out the fiery top. I probably roasted a few people through that already. And as I said, I wanted to bank it as close to the wall as possible, and that is exactly what it did to the ending, which is a nice big stop. People seem to be enjoying themselves. I think that's a pretty damn good ride. Okay, guys, so that wraps it up for our first episode on our new Planet Coaster theme park. Speaking of this theme park, let me know what you think uh, should be the park name in the comments below. I'm going to let you guys pick it. Uh, some of the most unvoted ones I'll choose from them. And, yeah, you guys can choose the name of the park. As always, guys, just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.